One of the things that it is very important for officers in the Presbyterian Church to grasp and become able to articulate to others is the shape of our Reformed faith. It's not that we are absolutely different from other Christians, but we do carry some relatively distinctive marks that do set us somewhat apart. One of those marks is that we are highly ecumenical, meaning we do not believe we are the only valid expression of Christian faith. And that keeps us humble because we know we could be, and likely are, wrong about some things. But there is one thing to know about us that we hold to firmly. Hello, I'm Stuart Baskin, pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Tyler, Texas, and this is your daily devotional for Monday, November 7th, 2022. For the last few days, I've been talking about a few of the things I teach our incoming officers, our elders and deacons. One of the questions they have to answer every time they enter into office, both for the first time when they are ordained and each and every time they are elected to serve another term is this. Do you sincerely receive and adopt the essential tenets of our Reformed faith as expressed in the confessions of our church as authentic and reliable expositions of what scripture leads us to believe and do? And will you be instructed and led by those confessions as you lead the people of God. As I say to each new group, if you're going to answer this question with any kind of integrity, you probably want to know something about what our confessions actually say. Now, there is not time to work through our entire book of confessions, so I help them by suggesting the shape of our Reformed faith, if not all the details about every doctrine. And the first and most important thing to know about us is that we are fiercely theocentric. Okay, a bit of theological jargon there, but an important piece of theological jargon. Theocentric. It means God-centered. Well, you might well ask, aren't all Christians theocentric? And my answer is, not the same way we are. Some Christian traditions focus much more on humanity than they do on God, though they would be surprised to hear me say so. Very surprised. Let me start with what an anthropocentric faith, a human-centered faith, looks like. Faith that centers on humanity tends to be highly moralistic and focused on the question, how do I get saved? This question really says it all if you stop and think about it. If the point of faith is how to be saved, then the center of faith is the self, the human being. Think about it. The subject of the question itself is I. How do I get saved? By contrast, the primary question Reformed Christians ask isn't about how we become saved. Our first and primary question is, what is God doing in the world? Notice that the subject here is God, not us not me, God. One of my old theology professors put it this way, the glory of God and his purposes in the world are more important than the salvation of one's soul. Human beings are religious, the Calvinist asserts, not to satisfy their needs or to give meaning to their lives, but because God has created them and called them to his service. That's a pretty astounding assertion, isn't it? But it is one of the things that marks us as relatively distinct in the family of Christian traditions. We decenter ourselves and try our best to place God at the center of things, even to the point that for us, personal salvation, while important, is not the most important thing. You'd look long and hard to find a tract in a Presbyterian church that gives you the steps to become saved. If you want a representative passage from the Bible that expresses the shape of our faith, look no further than the Psalms, and especially Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. 
Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Now that's theocentric. God is God and we belong to God, not the other way around. That's the way it ought to be. Tomorrow, another distinctive trait of our Reformed faith. But for now, may God continue to bless you and keep you in all that you do this day and in all the days ahead.